Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a highly requested video for you and it is a comparison between two coach bags being the coach pillow Madison in the size 26 and the coach pillow tabby in the size 26 as well. So I'm super excited to get into this video and I do want to also show you a bonus item that I got for my birthday. But if you're new here, welcome. My name is Alyssa and I have a blog called The Gal's Guide and I come on here and I review my luxury and contemporary handbags. So if you love handbags as much as I do, you should definitely consider subscribing down below. Hit that little red button. I would love to have you join this little community with me here. And to my current subscribers, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you. I'm so grateful for your support and I love chatting with you in the comments down below. So that being said, let's get into the video. So before I get into the bags, I do want to show you I got this for my birthday and I just feel it's fitting because it is Coach. One of my best friends in the whole world, if you're watching this, got me this Coach notebook and it's so beautiful. I don't know what the like design is. I think this is a limited edition pattern with the hearts, but I just think it's absolutely adorable. It has the mauve little button closure here and then it just pops open and the inside is this really beautiful nude color like I really want to see coach come out with the coach pillow Madison in this color and then you have the coach notebook in here which you can switch this out and I just think it's super convenient it's a really great size and I just love the leather on this I think the quality is beautiful I cannot wait to use this I've been trying to like not use it just because I think it's so beautiful and I don't want to like I don't know overuse it but I just love it I think it's similar to one of the Louis Vuitton planners. I don't know what size of those. However, I've actually never bought a leather notebook for myself, so I was super excited to get this as a gift. Also, I know this isn't like a monthly favorites video, but I'm drinking an Alani New, and they are absolutely amazing. This is the Cosmic Stardust flavor. Absolutely love these. So if you see me sipping on this, it's amazing. Okay, so let's get into the comparison. So I have two Coach Pillow Madison. I'm going to use my black on black version for today's video. This is the Pillow Madison in the black with the black pewter hardware. And it has two chain straps that you pull as a shoulder bag. It could also be pulled to be worn as a crossbody. You have a pillow dog tag on the side. On the back, you have this amazing back pocket with a magnetic closure, which I absolutely love. And then to open this bag, you twist the little C here, and then you pop it open. I do have this bag stuffed because I did just wear it to work yesterday. But this is the leather on the inside, and then on the inside down there, it's actually like a cognac suede. I do have my stuff in here, which I will unpack and show you. But then you have the front pocket, which also has this really nice magnetic closure, and you can get into here, obviously. I have some like gift cards and stuff in there right now. But I love the functionality of this bag because I love wearing it as a shoulder bag. I love the dual pocket features inside and on the back. I always put my phone in the back pocket. And the leather on this bag is chef's kiss. I mean, it's amazing. It is literally the best leather bag I think that I have in my whole collection. And that is a lot. I would say I really love the Fendi baguette lambskin, but this is just absolutely beautiful. And it's very similar to the Coach Pillow Tabby 26 leather. So the difference here is you do have a quilted leather. So you have that stitching in this bag. And I would say on the Pillow Madison, the leather feels a little bit different. It has a different kind of smoothness to it. I think it has to do with the quilting. This is just as smooth, just as buttery, just as pillow soft. However, with this one, I feel like there's not as much coating on it. Like, I feel like a nail, a key, or something will scratch this a little bit more easily than this one. And I don't know why that is. I don't know if you could tell the difference, but like the shine factor on this one is a little bit more than this one. Like this one's a little bit more matte looking, if you can tell. Now this is in the forest green, so I know it looks a little bit similar to the black, but this is actually a really beautiful green color and it has the gold hardware. It also has the similar 
pillow dog tag here. And then on the back, there is no pocket. It does not have feet, just like the other one. And if this one has the gold hardware, which I absolutely love. And then to open this one, you do just pop this open. This one also comes with a top handle strap, which I will show you it on the bag. I prefer to wear one or the other. I don't like to wear them together, but I'll show you what it looks like. So when you have this on the bag, you can wear it as a shoulder bag. And then I do seem to prefer the crossbody if I'm being honest. I like that it has this really nice amount of adjustments and I really like how thick this strap is. I think it's really beautiful. I would love to get one of the like resin chains for this bag which I wanted to get when I was at my coach store but I just didn't see one that like really went with this colorway. So I'm gonna wait until the fall but I do really like this bag so far. This bag is a little bit newer in my collection. I did get this bag in the 18 like six months Months ago maybe and it's a little gold one and I absolutely love it I wear it so much out as an evening bag this one's more of a casual everyday bag so I'm gonna start off with the immediate difference is this one I feel is a little bit more casual than this one I think this one you can dress up a little bit more I do get a little bit more use out of this one for sure I wear this one to work the capacity of this one which I am gonna do a comparison of what fits definitely fits more in here than it does in here and I think the reason for that is like almost the fluffiness of this bag is a little bit deceiving so when you open it up and you do have these internal pockets so you have a pocket in the front there's like a lot of material here so there's a lot of puffiness in the front of the bag that's not usable it's just part of the puff like that's the best way that I can put it and I do have the dust bag in here and then in the back I have this stuffed it's just a regular pocket which is a really generous size and then you have a zipper feature across here so I really love the capacity of this bag as well I just think I can get more out of the pillow Madison which is why I find that I wear it to work a little bit more when I need like more stuff I will also say this bag, when you wear it on the shoulder, definitely looks totally different than this one. So I will do a comparison of mod shots. But so I do want to get into what fits. So I'm going to start with the Pillow Madison and just really show you what this bag fits. So I did empty it out. So we're going to start by just filling this interior pocket. So I always bring my hand sanitizer. This is by Bath & Body Works and Champagne Toast. It's one of the spray ones, so it's kind of big. And I just stand it up in there. And then next to that, I'm going to put some Advil because you just never know. And then I'm also going to bring a compact. So this is by Marc Jacobs. It's the Accomplice powder. It's amazing. And then I use my Louis Vuitton key pouch as my wallet. So I'm going to put that in there. So I'm just going to show you so far. That's what that looks like in there. You have a ton of room left. You really can't really see the wallet in there, but that's the room you have to work with. So then I'm going to show you I have my phone. This is the iPhone 12 Pro. I usually would put this in the back pocket, but just for the sake of the video, I'm going to put it in here as well. And then I also have a protein bar. These are the Aloha bars. They're absolutely amazing. I love them. I get them from Whole Foods. Then I also have a small leather good. This is from Coach. So this is the little strawberry edition mini wallet. I'm just going to put like a lipstick in here. This is by Merit. This is a lip oil in the shade Nude, and it's beautiful. So I'm just going to pop that in there, and then I have like a little Amazon gift card back there. So I'm going to put this in here. So that's everything in there right now. And then I'm also going to put my key fob and another lip gloss. So this is the Dior Lip Maximizer that I got for my birthday. This is in the color Rosewood. Absolutely love that. I don't go anywhere without a lip gloss. So that's everything in here. I don't really think I would need much more. I'm going to show you that it does, in fact, close. So it closes perfectly, and then again, you do have this back pocket to put your phone in. What I'm going to do for the sake of the video is put in a couple gift cards. So we'll just slide those back there, and maybe a eyebrow gel. Put the eyebrow gel back here, and you'll see it actually closes. Like, the magnetic closure is really convenient because it doesn't, like, keep it open. You'll see I have this stuff in there, so... That's really nice, really convenient. You can just get so much capacity out of this bag. So I'm gonna take all of this stuff that I just put in here and see if I can get it in the tabby now. 
Also, I just want to mention, I didn't even put anything in this front pocket. You could also fit your phone in there. It's just a really convenient, like, secure pocket that nothing's going to fall out of. Starting with the front pocket, I'm going to take the Coach Mini wallet with the lip gloss in it, and I'm going to just put it in the front. So I want you to see that's how it fits in here. You have to kind of stand it up, otherwise it'll take up too much space. Then I'm going to put in the compact, my Louis Vuitton key pouch. So that's what that looks like so far. And then I'm also going to put in my phone. I'm going to put that in the back pocket here. And then the hand sanitizer, I'm going to stand up in this back pocket here so that you can see it will still close. It's not like it's too tall for it, but it does kind of need to be standing up. And then I'll put the protein bar in this middle pocket. So that's kind of how I have that organized right now. And then the key fob I'll put up in the front. And then in the middle pocket, we'll put the eyebrow gel and the Dior lip gloss. So right now I have everything in here except for the Advil and the gift cards. So the gift cards, I could probably slide in the back. And the Advil, I'm going to try to get in here. It's a little bit tight, but I have it back there next to the hand sanitizer. It's a little, like... I don't know if this is gonna like this isn't really gonna close like it's just it's a little bit too thick so I'm gonna take the Advil out and I'm gonna see so I was able to get the zipper pocket in the middle to close so I got it to close the only thing I could not get in here was the Advil so still fits a lot as you can tell it is kind of bunching up here because I've definitely stuff this bag to its capacity. I personally don't carry this much stuff when I do go out with this bag. Rarely do I put my phone in the bag. I usually just carry it in my pocket. I'm also going to take out the Coach Small Leather Good and I'm just going to put in the lip gloss here and I'll show you it frees up quite a bit of space. So in the front I have everything that I need, my cosmetics, my wallet, my key. In the back I have my gift cards, the hand sanitizer. In the center I have more cosmetics I'll show you. It's just those couple items and the protein bar as well that's in there. So I took out my phone, I took out the small leather good, and of course no Advil. And I'll show you what this looks like when it closes. It looks a little bit better, like it's still bunching up here, but it doesn't look like it's going to burst at the seams. So this is usually what I would carry, this amount of stuff. And I do think that when you carry it from the top handle and it is like overly stuffed, you can kind of feel the weight balance is a little bit weird. It doesn't look super balanced when you carry it as a shoulder bag when it has a lot of stuff in it. That's just my personal opinion. I also think that these little ends here are a little bit deformed on my bag. So I did buy this bag particularly from my local TJ Maxx and I got it for a steal. I don't even know how I got it to be honest with you. I have nothing good in my TJ Maxx usually and it was just in the case. So I have to wonder if there is something wrong, like if there's like a defect or something. Like this looks a little weird. Whereas the Pillow Madison like you have no issues. It doesn't change its shape. The thing about the Madison is it has more structure to it. So here, this is very squishy. Like this bottom part doesn't have anything hard holding it down. The sides are very, very squishy. It's just that like leather, delicious, plushy material. And then when you grab the Pillow Madison, it doesn't have as much leather material. It has a lot of like cinching here. So like I feel that this piece here really holds everything together and makes it really structured and you can kind of feel like on the sides I do feel a little bit more structure like even on the bottom it's just not as it's just not as flat like I don't know how to describe it but this one just feels a little bit more structured while also stretching to its maximum capacity so I'm gonna show you what these look like styled on me I am five foot two so this is the Pillow Madison as a shoulder bag. It sits really nicely far down under my shoulder and I just really like where this sits. And then I'll show you in comparison the Coach Pillow Tabby. It sits a little bit higher up so you've got like a little bit of a difference here. You can see it's like more under the armpit kind of energy. So like I don't carry it like this a lot but this is the difference. 
I much prefer this bag crossbody. I just think it works really well. I do like where it sits on me. Again, I don't usually carry it with this as well, but just to show you what it would look like. I mean, you could like kind of tuck it back like that if you wanted to have like it to look a little bit better, but it's just a little bit cumbersome to have both in my opinion. Like I like to choose one or the other, but this is where it sits on me. I do have this on the shortest strap length. This is what the Pillow Madison looks like crossbody on me. I do prefer this as a shoulder bag, but it doesn't look bad crossbody. But if you're looking for more of a crossbody, I would say the Coach Tabby definitely works better than this one. I just think this is definitely a little bit more functional as a shoulder bag. So overall, I think you can tell that I do prefer the Pillow Madison. I do use this one more. I do feel like the capacity works a little bit better for me on a day-to-day -day basis. However, this one is just as beautiful. I think this one is really beautiful, still functional, but it's not like my everyday go-to. What I will say is they are both similar in price, so it really just depends. For me, if you're looking for a crossbody, I think this one's a really nice choice. This one I think is more suitable as a shoulder bag. I also think that this one is going to be a little bit more timeless just because it is so similar to some of the other luxury designer bags, which I actually think it is superior to. I did a comparison video that I will link in the description box below on this versus the YSL Lulu. So I'm interested to hear from you guys. What do you think is the better bag? Which ones do you own? Which one do you like better? Do you love them both the same? I love them both. I just personally think this one as a little bit better value for me and my lifestyle. So that is going to conclude this video. If you're still here with me, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. And if you have any questions about either of these bags, I'd be happy to answer those for you in the comments down below. Thank you so much again for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.